This morning we're talking a bit about um, the Ghana Results Fair, which is put together by the Ministry of um, Monitoring and Evaluation. We'll get a bit into what exactly this ministry does, as there has been word around about what exactly it's supposed to do. Yes, we understand that they supplement um, the efforts of other ministries, but what exactly are they doing and what is this Results Fair all about? And joining me this morning to make this clearer for all of us is Honorable William Kwesi Sabi, the MP, Minister of Parliament, pardon me, for Doma East and also Deputy Minister of Monitoring and Evaluation Ministry. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Good. It's really good to have you on the show this morning. I'm uh, grateful to. Great. Before we do talk about the results fair, which I think um, is rather interesting, uh, the name and all of that, I'd yeah. like for you to help us better understand what um, the ministry, uh, the monitoring and evaluation ministry is doing now. Um, thank you very much. But before that, let me say um, hello to the good people of Doma East okay. who have put me wherever I am. Mm -hmm. um, to my president the vice, and the minister for mm. monitoring and evaluation okay. who is doing so well in bringing up this program. Mm. Um, the Ministry of Monitoring and Evaluation was established just in 2017. So it's just a new ministry. Okay. Um, what our main... Um, work mm -hmm. is to ensure that government flagship programs are effectively and efficiently implemented so that the expected results are achieved. Indeed, uh, the government flagship programs are a form of interventions. Okay. And uh, that set of interventions are supposed to contribute to the transformational agenda of Ghana. Okay. The belief is that if we are able to actually implement these interventions well and the objectives or goals of each intervention is achieved, okay. there, there will be a total transformation of Ghana. Right. So um, let me admit that uh, monitoring evaluation, this is not the first time monitoring evaluation um, has been in existence. Okay. It's been part of the presidency all these years. However, this is the only time that the current government has elevated it to the level of um, a ministerial level. Yeah. And um, it's because government has given it that special assignment, because government had that special goal of transforming Ghana. Okay. And the idea is that if I want to see what I really want done, yeah. I should give it to people to actually follow up, okay. monitor to see that it is actually going the way it's supposed to go. Okay and that it is actually yielding the results so that I can comfortably say that I'm transforming Ghana. Right. So what we do generally is that we, we are not an end in ourselves. Okay. In fact, um, uh, we are not an end in ourselves. We just are part of, uh, we support Other the ministries. implementing agencies. Okay. Um, the flashy programs, if I may mention, like Free Senior High School, yeah. 1, 3, 1, yeah. 5, 3, and those which people know where, have been implemented by various ministries. Okay. So we work in collaboration with those ministries to support them to do what they are doing well. So in the first place, in 2017, the Ministry of Monitoring and Evaluation was able to develop what we call a government resource framework. Okay. And in that resource framework, we sat down with the ministries and implementing agencies to come up with the programs they are implementing the, uh, in fact, we start from the end to the beginning. Okay. That is, what results do we expect from exactly. what you are doing? And therefore, what can be done to be able to, to achieve, achieve that? Results. So we come out with the various expected uh, outputs, the activities to be carried out, targets to be set, exactly. resources needed, a time frame for each activity okay. to be performed. And then it's a belief that when we do that, mm. it should lead to where we started from. Okay. So, so the, we, we follow yes. up periodically yeah. and give reports periodically mm. as to how it's going. And then we make recommendations for improvement mm. and help the ministry develop an uh, implementation plan for the recommendations that we have made. Okay. Because we have to see that the recommendations are actually implemented. implemented. Otherwise, we will not get to where we want to get to. I see. So um, currently, which um, projects are the biggest top three projects that um, are on your uh, tables right now? Uh, right now, we are looking at Free Senior High School okay. um, um, and the one district, one factory. Okay. 
at the uh, planting for food and jobs. If you talk of the top three, these are I'll the ones that them. are But on they, they are all very important Indeed. because they all, the rest, they all touch on different aspects of life. Mm. If you look at free SHS is about human resource development, mm. human capital. Yeah. When you talk of um, one district, one factory, we are talking of improving the economy, exactly. offering employment, mm. and then also, yes, actually building our uh, economy, mm. if I were. But when we talk of uh, one this um, had the planning for food and jobs, we are looking at getting people food to eat and mm. be able to even export part of the food that we produce. That in itself also contribute to the economy mm. in a way. But it will also bring up people, make people comfortable. Okay. There's one thing you cannot decide. You can't decide that, okay, uh, this week I won't eat. Right. <laughs> so, so this one thing that is it's, essential. It's, it's, it's so these are. Um, Three important, but that doesn't mean they are more important than the others. I'm right, saying. but they are that the biggest the ones. Th yeah, the top yes, three yes. Uh, on your list. There, yeah. There's been a report that says that uh, with your one district, uh, one factory, there's a likelihood that you wouldn't be able to meet your targets this year. And it's your um, ministry that's actually handling, you know, the evaluation, the evaluation of, of the of whole project. Things. Yeah, that that is true, uh, to some extent. That if they say we will not be able to achieve our target, but what people should look at is, be, it is. Uh, one district, mm -hmm. one factory. Mm -hmm. But we are developing, as I've said, we have developed a resource framework. Yeah. We will follow what is in the developed framework. What okay. did the Minister of Trade say they will mm -hmm. be doing within the four years? Okay. Then that is where we will be using to monitor and actually evaluate what they have been able to do. Okay. One All thing right. people should also know that um, in the framework, they have not said that by the end of the four years, every district will have had a, a, a factory in operation. Okay. Because a factory, setting up a, uh, a factory is a process. Mm. So for the ministry, even if there's an intention, it has begun. So they will start then going through the processes that mm. are involved. Mm -hmm. As we all know, it takes a long time to be able to set up a process and a lot of activities should be carried out. But if those activities are being, <clears throat> sorry, carried out mm. and in the resource framework, yeah. they've stated that Maybe by the time this number will have actually been started operation, but this number will have reached this stage yeah. and those things. We will evaluate them based on, on those, or those who are not right. as well as those who I'm are. I'm sure we'll get uh, further yes. into that much later, but let's talk a bit about your fair now. Yes. The results fair. Why um, is this fair being organized in the first place and who exactly is it for? Okay, thanks so much. Let me start from the last part. <laughs> this results fair is for everybody in Ghana. Mm. Um, this is because. The resource fair is to tell our story of, for the past three years that Nana Dodanko Akufu led government has been in power. We want to come up, what have we been able to do so far? Okay. <clears throat> in the previous programs, there have been um, like the policy fairs mm. and also they have talked about the, what we have been able to carry out, the activities. Right. The resource fair is going beyond, in monitoring evaluation, we go beyond activities haven't been carried out, or outputs. Mm -hmm. We look at, and so what? Okay. If we have been able to do this, and so what? Yes. So what is the result coming out of all those that we have done? Okay. And then we, so we want to, we want the ministries and the agencies who are implementing these mm -hmm. policies to come out to state the effect of okay. what they have done on the lives or the people of Ghana. Okay, so basically you're making that information available to everyone. Everyone. So we know, um, at what point you are with respect to all of these. All uh, these, projects. and not just okay. the point we are, and with what we have done, how does it affect, how does it impact on their life? Mm. So we are going beyond just we have done this. Yeah. But what happened just because we have done it. Yeah, right. When we did it, what happened to the people? Exactly. So I've had interview with you, mm. and so what? <laughs> <laughs> what happened the after the interview? Exactly. And for us, in the Ministry of Monitoring and Evaluation, that is the most important thing. Mm. Because um, it's like uh, the general concept of Ghanaians, excuse me, but that's what people think. They have been asked to do this and have done it. Yeah. And that's what people think. Mm. But we go beyond, not just because we have done it. What happened after you have done it? Because mm. we, there's a reason why we ask you to do it. Mm. And that is what we are looking for. So the results so fair is actually going to demonstrate bit. what kind of uh, impact or what kind of results that have come out because we've been able to do this. And then right. we are expecting the other aspect we also want to 
a deep in interaction between the implementing agencies and the general public. Yeah. Because we don't want it to look like the ministries have gotten their own thing and they are doing, and the, the general public is certain. Well. Because it is for the people of Ghana that we are doing it. So we want them to see, um, even make recommendations for improvement. Yeah. Adapter point. It's All not right. just come and see or listen to and what we have. So when, when is this actually um, taking place? At the resource fair? fair is taking place at the Accra International okay. Conference Center. All right. But from tomorrow, okay. which is 14th, okay. through um, Thursday. Okay. So it is tomorrow 14th, to Wednesday 16th. 15th, yeah. and then Thursday 16th. 16th from the 16th. what time to what time? From each morning from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Um, we, there will be two, uh, let me say, programs running concurrently. Okay. Um, the various implementing uh, ministries and agencies are going to actually have their stance okay. and do exhibitions like we do right. in trade fair. Yes. So that you can go to them, see what they have, exactly. like the way we've displayed certain things on this studio, yeah. and then ask them questions. questions. For some of them, there will be infographics. So okay. there will be uh, graphic Detailed the details. The TV, they were showing to TV to show what they yes. have done and what has been the impact. And okay. then the second bit of it, will, they will, they will also be running... Um, uh, presentations yes, alongside. Okay. So then so there are the, there's a fair and then there's also the presentations. Presentations. So people can experience, experience both, both in its entirety. Yes. Okay. And the, uh, the president of Ghana, he, His Excellency, is coming to lunch okay. tomorrow for us. So we are Beautiful. expecting all... In fact, there's no minister, after, after the ministers, they I know they will come. There as the well. minister, the deputy ministers, the there. MPs, and we are there. Mm. And we are expecting the media Especially, we're yes. expecting you to, to because you will be tell there. the story. We'll we don't want you we'll, we'll to listen to others. Like, come and we'll actually come know the facts. And, fact. and in fact, we are inviting we are inviting the members of the tomorrow. opposition too, okay. because they, be they will always speak against us. So we want them to have the facts. So okay. that when you are speaking against it, you actually know the fact. Honorable okay. William Kwesi Sabi, MP Doma East, and the Deputy Minister of Monitoring and Evaluation Ministry, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank we you We now very know much. a lot more about the Ghana Results Fair, which is happening tomorrow, from uh, tomorrow Tuesday to uh, Thursday, the 16th of January 2020. And so it's reached the public. Make it a point to be there at the Accra International Conference Center.